You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play set. Let's blah, another Let's Play episode of Midnight Wolf. So y'all, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. I believe we might be getting to some juicy content here in a moment. Maybe we shall see. Maybe perhaps the night is still young, but that red blush on Fox's face and the red blush on Wolf's face tells me we're heading towards some. Uh, inappropriate things here very quickly. Anyway, we release our mouths again, satisfied with that moment. Heh. <laughs> hey, Fox. Yeah? You wanna finish this at my place? My bike's still at the park. You sure? We just drank, you know. You mean you just drank? I only had a cup and a half. You're not wrong, but sh you sure you can do this? Do you trust me? He pauses for- he pauses for a moment. I do, Wolf. Just do drive carefully, please. I'll do my best for you. So come on, let's get out of here. We get up from the stools, adjusting our crotches a bit. I tell Fox we don't need to pay right now, but the Boy Scout insisted on leaving a tip for the otter. We'll leave the bar and make our way back to the park. Fox grabs my hand tightly. We don't waste any time getting back where we started. Oh, so that was yours. I saw it on the way in. At the entrance to the park, my bike sits. The parking ticket stuck right on the seat. Shit, I thought I parked this properly. The parking lot is around the corner, Wolf. God damn it, I'll take care of this tomorrow. Let's not have this ruin the night, alright? Sure, Wolf. I crumple the ticket into my pocket and pull my keys out. My keys bring my bike to life. I take my seat and beckon Fox to me. No helmet, Wolf? We're not that far away, Fox. Just hold on tight to me. We'll be home in no time. My life is in your hands. No pressure. Fox moves to sit behind me. He hugs me tight in his arms, stronger than he looks, too. All right, Fox, let's rock and roll. Aw, that's adorable. Holy shit, that's fucking adorable. Aw. On the way home, or at least the place I at least the place I sleep, Fox is holding on tight. Maybe he's liking what he what he's feeling. I like it too. I'll take it easy on the gas. I want to enjoy this. The road's free of everyone except us. I feel Fox nudging his muzzle against my back. You know, I never got a good look at those those scars of yours. Oh, these? How'd you get them? Another training accident? Initiation. Venom Army knew my flying skills, but it wasn't the best at close combat. They dropped me in my they dropped me in a chameleon into a pit and made us fight. The same one on your team? What a first impression I am, right? You'd be surprised how much damage a tongue can do. And how good it feels. Did you? The guy's obsessed with my carnage, and he's not my type. Too cold blooded. Hmm. What about you, Fox? Those notches on your ear. Oh, mark of victory. When I took on the Emperor. I don't know if it was a hologram or something, but his giant-ass head swallowed my ship and chewed me up, literally. Don't get me started on his true form. I knew he had a big head, but he was just, re he was, but he was just regular ape size when I first met him. Although near the end, all of his communication stopped being in person. Figured he was just paranoid. He was experimenting on himself, too. Not sure to what end since I took him out. Something, something evolution new breed. Fox chuckles at that. We go silent as we listen to the road. Fox seems to have nodded off in the meantime. I make a few turns into the harbor, the bad side of town. But the rent's cheap. I poke the dozing fox behind my shoulder. Fox, we're here. Murr. Did he just literally say murr? What the fuck? I park my bike under some shelter of sheet metal I scrounged. Would love to get my own garage, but that costs extra. Fox groggily stands up for my bike. I'm up. I'm up, Wolf. Just resting my eyes. <laughs> sure you are. This is... A dump, yeah. Rustic. Don't have to sugarcoat it, Fox. After our base got seized, my team took... My team just took our separate ways. We only get together when there's work to do. Well, there is a vacancy in our mothership. Already planning our wedding, aren't you? It'll just be hard getting, a, getting out of a hole when you live in a place like this. I know, pup, but I want to handle this part of my life on my own. I can't be a good boyfriend if I need too much support from you. One second, y'all. I use a little bit of water. Okay. Heh. <laughs> You're not wrong. Come on, it's just up the stairs here. I lead Fox around the corner and up rusted, salted iron stairs. Fox wraps his arms behind me as I fish for my keys. Found them. Jiggling them in and twisting the knob until the lock releases. Finally, it opens. I take my steps back home. 
I tried to keep the place clean. Military training didn't completely rub off me. But you can easily step on a deal, I'll tell you. I stretch in size, I pull off my boots. Fox takes a good look around. All this. Sniff. Musty, but it also smells like you do. Yeah, this place doesn't have the best ventilation. I keep the windows open when I'm here, not like I can have anything worth stealing. You need water or anything? It's filtered. Sure, Wolf. Everything I need to live is right here. At least the bathroom is in a separate room. I check my phone again. 12 a.m. I grab two glasses from the shelf and pour some water for me and Fox. I hand him liquid while I gulp mine down. Ah, needed that. You good too, Fox? I turn to him. He's looking out the window while sipping his water. I take light steps to sneak behind him. A hug. This place is pretty dingy, but there's something serene about being close to water. Gonna get a beach house? Together? Maybe. I start unzipping my coat off Fox. The neckerchief stays on. Oh, my goodness. My hands slide under his shirt. He takes his time unbuttoning it. You really want to do this? I do. He turns to face me. It's felt yet soft. I take my time feeling him down. Down in his chest to his gut. Up to his arms. I stop when I notice the scar on his shoulder. Where did that come from? You, actually. In our first fight, you landed the first hit and knocked me and knocked me and my ship around hard. The canopy even cracked against the impact. Whoa. I'm sorry, Fox. It's fine, Wolf. Yeah, it hurt, but you really left a mark on me. I touch around his scar. He does tense up a bit, so I don't go further. Never thought I'd hurt my date like this. Like I said, it's all in the past. What matters is now. And now it's your turn. He pulls up my shirt and I throw it aside. You're firm. You too. Smell good, too. His cologne's faded completely now. I can get the full whiff of his scent. I crave it. I want more. I gently guide Fox to my bed as we embrace. It's time. I pull down Fox's pants. Oh my god. Yeah, a lot of this is definitely going to be getting edited out. Heh. <laughs> Boxer briefs. You're packing, pup. Been hard ever since the bar. I tease him a bit, grabbing his junk down there. On a closer look, you can see a stain of pre. I'll have fun with your ass soon. But first, I lick my lips. I pull off the belt of my pants. I quickly drop. Briefs, Wolf? You know they're hot. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty, alright then. Yep. That is a big uncut wolf cock. <laughs> I take a seat on my bed and whip my cock out of my underwear. You know what to do, pup. Fox gets on his knees. He sniffs it a bit. It smell. It smells, wolf. Well, we did a lot of walking. It's okay. I am into it. He opens his mouth. So, I am going to be... Uh, uh, Ad-libbing a lot of this, since I can't say a lot of this on YouTube, so... And Fox gets to work. E yeah, I can't say... I mean, I could say that, but it would sound really awkward. <laughs> He's not shy about this at all. This isn't his first time s sucking a uh, lollipop. Damn, you're good at this. His tongue definitely swirls around the, uh, the, <clears throat> the, uh, the, 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 the lollipop. The, these aren't rookie moves, you know. He's, uh, he knows his way around candy. One second, y'all. I, I, I feel like I definitely need some water, and my god, I should not have saved it right there, because I have to edit the fucking save now. Ugh. Damn it. Okay. All right. Whatever. He's not just getting a little taste. He wants the full chorus. I raise my hand over his head to give him some pats. <clears throat> Good pup. He would smile if his mouth wasn't full. Fox gives one big push before he pops his hold on me. Jesus. Ha! <gasps> ha! <sighs> Piece of cake! I could go for one, actually. What? <laughs> Why would you say that? Jesus, that's so weird. Fox just rests for a moment while I pet his head for a good job. Pup, lay down on the bed for me. Fox rises. I take his hand to pull him up. He crawls up beside me, flopping on his belly. This is what you mean, right? For a one-night stand, yeah. But I want to see your face. Flip over. Oh my. Fox follows. He holds his legs up. Like this? It's kind of embarrassing. But he looks so adorable. His, uh... <clears throat> his, uh, wrench is just about ready to burst out of these boxers. I tug at it, teasing. Need a little help with that? I pull his underwear off his legs slowly. I want to make him beg for it. Come on, Wolf, I need this. 
He shivers as I pull them down and throw the boxers aside. I crouch down to take a good look at the goods. Jesus Christ. Yep, that's gonna just be a full, full on, just full screen blur for most of this. <laughs> Y'all aren't gonna be able to see much of this, so. Vox looks away, blushing. His, uh, <clears throat> his, uh, wrench is throbbing, waiting for. Waiting to be uh, used to work on a car or do some kind of other auto body repair. Not as big as mine, but it's cute nonetheless. You're gonna stick it in, right? Oh, whoa! <laughs> Fuck! Yee! Woo! Well, wolves do have talented tongues. Foxes do too. <laughs> A little lap on his fox. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you put it like that? I look up at him to see his reaction. Never get a, never got a rim job before. I can say that because it is auto body related, so I can fucking say that. No, never. It, it feels weird. Good weird or bad weird? Just different. Maybe good. You can keep going. I continue back to my work. I've been waiting to get a, 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 a taste of this uh, vehicle he showed me all night. I, uh, take shallow licks of the paint job. It tastes very much like cherry. Doesn't take long for Fox to start, uh, moaning, which is weird because I'm, I'm licking his car for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> he reaches down to rub my face. I return to offer, jerking him a bit. Oh, I can get used to this. Nom. Nom? Really? Nom? That's what you say? Nom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. Christ. Oh, God. Shield your eyes, people. Oh, my God. This is, uh, oh, this is unchristian, uncatholic work here. You got your tongue in there? I can't say that. I can't say that. It's so tight, though. It's hard to get my tongue through. But I can manage. I could do this all night if you wanted. There's more to this night than just, yeah. Still, seems that I awakened something hot in him. With how relaxed he is, he doesn't he doesn't even need yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> Wolf, this is really good. Ah! I stopped to look over him. Did I go too far? No, it's just I came a little. <laughs> Focus my eye on his uh <clears throat> and his lollipop. I can see a little uh a little a little drip a little drip wider than the usual sticky clear stuff. Can't let you do that, Fox. <laughs> uh he did it! He said the line! The party's just begun. Stop quoting the fucking game. <laughs> All right, so okay, we got. Oh god, people, we've got a little bit more. I move to the drawer beside the bed and rummage through. I know I just bought a new. There we go. Good dragon lube. Good dragon. Really? You can't say bad dragon because it's copyrighted, so you'll see good dragon. <laughs> I dab some of them. Dab some on my fingers. Slick. I lean down to Fox and rub my fingers against the, uh, the tailpipe of his vehicle. I'm gonna give his, uh, give his car's tailpipe a good old-fashioned cleaning like my father taught me. He shivers as I poke in. <laughs> an old, it's an old secret family car cleaning recipe, car cleaning technique. I start, I start lubing up my wrench as well. Gotta tighten them lug nuts and them screws. <laughs> Seems like you don't need much. Seems like your vehicle doesn't need much fingering at all. He nods. I tease his uh, <clears throat> pipe a little bit. Oh Jesus! But soon I straddle his legs on my arms as I aim. I aim my uh, yee. Yeah. Y'all gonna admit? I'm gonna admit y'all even with this being fully uh. Fully edited. This is probably, probably going to get hit by a de hit real early by demonetization. So I gotta make sure these edits are thorough. Anyway, you good? Yeah. Can't say that. Fox winces in anticipation, but his uh <clears throat> his lollipop tells me what he really feels, which is weird because a lollipop is an inanimate piece of candy. You've uh you've been fucked before. Never, but I'm ready for this. Well, I think you're doing a great job. I go in slowly. I don't want to break him already. Say just like that, pup. It's all into the hilt. Oh. 
Uh, virgin co virgin car tail pipes are best, but also the tightest. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. That is an odd thing to say without proper context, but... You good? How do you feel? Like, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Like I have a wrench up my tailpipe. <laughs> Snort. That'd be the part that makes guys want to do this. I started getting down to business. Fox grips the sheets tight. It kind of hurts. Give it a bit, pup. I pull out slowly, and then I make a quick thrust. Yep. What was that? He covers his mouth in embarrassment. <laughs> Just teasing him. I take a normal speed now, bumping back and forth. God, he feels so good. He's trying to hide, but he's starting to enjoy this. Sure enough, pain cries turn to moans. There's a smile under those hands. He's a natural at this. Ha ha! Wolf. Yeah? Faster. Say again? Slowing down, I ponder. Fuck, Wolf! Faster! Already given out orders? Alright, I'll give you what you want. My pace picks up. I start pushing Fox further up the bed so I can get a better position. Uh, Let's... Uh, uh, mute this, I guess. This is loud. Why is this part of the, the sound is part of the music? Why? Oh my god, why is that part of the music? Shut up, Alarm Chan! No! No, we're finishing this. My pace picks up. I start pushing Fox further up the bed so I can get a better position. He wraps his legs around me like it's instinct to him. I can feel the, uh, <clears throat> tailpipe rub against the wrench, so I, uh, know I am, uh, I'm putting too much of it in. I take a peek down. It's, uh, <clears throat> oil is leaking like crazy. I'm just about... <sighs> Fuck, how do I turn that? How, how do I make that more innocent? Jesus Christ. Fox motions his hands. No, can't say. No, can't say or show any of this. Vert thine eyes, children. I grab his hand and hold him back. The other one, too, for good measure. Wolf! Oh, no, you don't, pup. You don't need hands to get off with me. I bump harder and faster than before. Wolf, I'm getting close. I'm sweating. He's sweating. It's so hot. He's so hot. He moans and struggles against my grip. It drives me wild. I can't hold back anymore. Fox just looks like he's ready to burst. Here it comes, Fox. Take it all. Who? Oh. <laughs> wow. Huh, that reminds me of something. I couldn't even finish my sentence when Fox shoots on his own. Uh, yeah, yeah, all that sticky oil uh, bursts out from the vehicle. I guess I must have loosened something a little too much. Some of it gets on his face, too. Ah, so he really shouldn't have been in the splash zone. I guess that's his fault. Should have worn goggles. Did you really howl like a wolf? My god. Oh. Yep. Yep, 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 every- yep, 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 yep! Okay, okay, that's- that's better, that's better, that's- that- this one is more innocent looking. Aside from that. I pull out and lay next to him. His- yeah, I can't say that. Huh. 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 God, we're a mess right now. A wolf soaking in sweat, a fox covered in uh, oil of in the oil of two in the oil of two different vehicles. Fox takes deep breaths before touching my face. But, but it was a lot of fun though. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you stick with me, we can do it every night. Ha. <laughs> huh, maybe. After all, after all, after all that, I get a maybe. I mean, no. I want to do it again. It's gonna be tough hiding us, hiding us though. Do we really have to hide it? For a little while, I promise. I have to take some time getting my team used to you walking around the ship. Maybe I could come over for a game of cards sometime. Just a friendly game, you know. And when I run out of money, I'll hang out in your room next time. A long time. The dream. Doesn't have to be. It's real now. What would your, what would your team think? I rule over them with fear and money. But they already know I have feelings for you already. If anyone was going to tan my hide, it would be you. Still remember that one, eh? I pat his belly, rubbing the... Yeah, rubbing the oil on his body. I take... God damn it. You're sweet, pup. I wouldn't mind you doing me sometime. Maybe the next time? For sure next time. Sorry, yeah, I'll stop being ambiguous. I lay down to stare at my ceiling. Fox rolls around to hold on to me. What's the plan in the morning? No idea, but I can figure some excuse. About why you're walking funny? I can take a shower in the morning, right? 
Yeah, that at least works. It's warm, too. I can help you out there and in there if you want. I'd like that. We start to nod off as the sounds of the sea soothe us. What a night. It's way past my bedtime now. We'll get some sleep then. We got the future to we got the future ahead of us. He snuggles close to me. And Fox? Yeah? We're boyfriends now, right? We are. I turn to face him. He kisses me goodnight. Aww. Oh, that was so good. I loved it. Oh, we're done. We're done with it, though. That makes me sad. All right, y'all. So that has been a midnight with sexy dragon supporters. What? <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah, y'all. That has been Midnight Wolf. A very cute love story between Fox McCloud and the Wolf. I don't know what the fuck his name is. But wow. So yeah, that was. Dragons here, supporters. Okay, who we got? It's just a taste of what we have planned for the future. I want to keep making stories. I'll keep on drawing, I'll keep on writing, I won't ever stop. Thank you. And thank you for making this. Oh, it changed the screen, too! I love it. That's so cute! Alright, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Y'all, please go download this game and play it. The author and the author and the artist, they really deserve love for this. This, this was really, really well done. I loved it. Anyway, y'all, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Um, I'm sorry that most of this video is going to be blurred, but y'all are used to this by now. Y'all are used to this by now. Anyway, y'all, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!